Hey everyone, Joe and Isaiah, the automator in. This really doesn't have much to do with the automator, so to speak, but this might be relevant to you because if you live in non-major country, I don't know how to say it the best way, right? Well, well, we work all the time in the U.S. here in Texas, and I try to pay Isaiah, who's in the Dominican Republic, but often, you know, other of these countries, they don't all have the same payment systems. And you and I, we've we've tried over years to find the the okay. not just the best. But like the, something that the, works, something that uh, a works, b <laughs> hopefully is faster than you know mailing a, a check, which would be crazy, yeah. uh, and c doesn't cost a fortune, right? And I know from right. talking to you, you've tried a lot of different ways to get money, and the fees, like you want to talk about some of them. Of yeah, so basically, the, there are many services out there for people to get international payments. If you are, and for us, it, it doesn't matter. We do consider ourselves a third world country is how we label ourselves. Um, but if you are, especially the way how to refer like per, per, <laughs> politically correct is like developing countries. That's what, <laughs> that's what they are. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little bit better, right? Like, I was going to say, at least you're not a fourth world country. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, but basically the idea is like developing countries. Now, uh, developing countries have the issue that not only they're developing, but the doors for many services are literally closed yeah. or the entry level for it is so high that we cannot really afford it. So say, for example, in the United States, uh, any um, professional might be earning $3,000, $4,000 probably on a normal job, right? A month. Uh, $15 for them is not much. But here in our country, $15, it is noticeable. It's not like a lot of money, but it is noticeable. It makes a little bit of a difference for a certain type of people who do not have a stable job. So when you have services that charge you just because of taking your money out $15, it makes it so that, okay, so if I'm getting paid like weekly or two times a week that adds up really quickly into a fee that is too large right so that was the issue that we were having mainly i have always used paypal for getting money from the outside from the united states and i usually use it directly by using paypal to pay for stuff right but that was always because i was not receiving like a salary from the United States. I, it has ever, it has always been like, I have my job in here and I get money from other different stuff. Now, as a salary, I need to get the money out into my bank account. That's where the issue comes. First of all, most of the services do not work in Dominican Republic, so I cannot connect my bank to PayPal. Like, yeah, I, I, looked, do that. I looked at Zelle, Cash App, Venmo, even Strike, which is a new thing for like doing Bitcoin stuff, and none of those even it's not even an option. No, it's not. It's uh, so basically the major companies that you might think of, like oh, but you can send money. Like, you're, yeah, you can, but not to developing countries. So the door is closed. It, it is a, a point that okay. So we figure out other systems, like for example, PayPal. Okay, my bank has a service in which they connect to PayPal and they receive the transaction and then they send the money to my bank account. Now, here's the issue. When I get money from a, a third party, I get a $15 fee. Like when, whenever you send money, I get a $15 fee. Now my bank, when they go ahead and do the transaction for me, they also charge me $15. So that is very dollar fee just to get my money, right? So it is really annoying. There are other services like uh, Payoneer, which I have also, also used. The Nice thing about them is that they allow you to have kind of like a US bank account, which means that you could do kind of like a wire transfer, a direct transfer to a US bank account. But again, the same thing applies $15 if you want to take the money back to a, to an international bank. The last one that I was going to talk about was wise transfer wise. They switched and I was showing you like they, they are the one, they, they're the most funny ones. Like, um, uh, they do have this system of sending money and they have kind of like better rates, like exchange rates. That's what they actually leverage. Like their exchange rate is supposedly better than others. And again, they give you a bank account. So you have an American bank account, but you have the same issue when you start transferring out of us. Then you start getting a lot of 
fees that go into that, you know, like, which, and <laughs> which is really important is that when people look at it, they'll say, look, we're cheaper than this service. And they'll, they'll say, this is what we charge. But when they're doing that, they're not mentioning the other fees that Isaiah is mentioning right now, which is just, it's, 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 you know, to me, it's mis- very misleading uh, kind of thing. But, but here's the thing. L- let me, let me clarify that part. In general, if you're making a transaction within the United States or right. to a European country, you're right. not going to have those fees. Those fees are not there for you. So, so long as you're sending US, you know, so you're sending dollars, which is why you're not affected by it. Yeah. I use Zelle and Cash App for me yeah. here to people that work for me here. And you're right. It's almost instantaneous. It's free. There's no fees. Like it is, it is great. Yeah. Exactly. So at, in the end, what we, uh, tried we actually saw this service uh, which was called zoom and it is a, a an additional service from paypal so it is from Not the same company the <laughs> yeah okay. zoom with an x right <laughs> right so that one looks like a tool that is specifically designed for developing countries for sending money to developing countries and there's a few things that we noticed. We just tried it. We were just testing it out. For now, we are. Re- I am really surprised. So, for example, Impressive. doing PayPal, like doing PayPal for me, it was like if you sent me money on Friday, I would see that money on next Wednesday. You know, so because it was like four business days for us to yeah. like, like to get it or something like that. So, but for this uh, service, can you clarify something on that real quick? Is this, uh-huh. you, you said you would say it, but you would see it in your bank account or in, in PayPal? My, no, no, on my bank account. So on PayPal okay. is the and PayPal is immediate. Like as soon as you transfer the money, it's there. I can see it. Okay. But for making the transfer back yeah. to the Dominican right. bank, it it is like uh, it takes like four business days or something like that. Um, and if, if you make it on a, on a Friday, I think like, uh, Saturday doesn't count. So it starts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sometimes they do it on Wednesday. Sometimes it's Thursday. It depends, you know, but in general, that was one of the biggest issues. And in Zoom, we have noticed that maximum, it takes like 20 minutes, right? It's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Like, oh, what? I was not even expecting the first time you said the money. I was not even expecting the money to be there. I was like, what? We, we um, did it, and, and <laughs> I said I, there was a button that says "Get text notifications when this is done." So right. I thought, whatever, I'll click on the box. And we were still, I think, on a call, and I'm like, "Yeah, we were talking," and you said, "Like, <laughs> you know, I was like, what? That, that doesn't make any sense because I, we have been working for more than a year now, right? So no. uh, in that time, I've never seen money that fast. <laughs> never. It is there in PayPal right away, but never in my bank account. So let's so, get into the fees now, right? Is- so. The fees for that one, it is interesting because they do have a um, a table that you can look at about the type of fees that they would charge you if you send certain amount of money. And it is better if I just share the screen real quick, so make it a little bit easier. To and to it. clarify also, so when I'm paying you inside like PayPal or other ones, I can have options to do things. If I use like connect to a bank account, it usually doesn't charge me anything. If I pay with a credit card within PayPal, then I have a fee that'll be applied. Right uh, here, though, you know, there there are different options inside Zoom, which, like you see here, it's a PayPal service. Right. So it is a PayPal service. It gives you the list of countries that you can send. And the funny thing is that as soon as you see like Dominican Republic, you're like. Dude, that's interesting because if you go to on other services like Dominican Republic, okay, well, you know, uh, we haven't reached Dominican Republic with the cards yet. So basically, the debit card allow would allow me to have a debit card, you know, physical one that if I have money in my account, I would just use the debit card and, you know, just go ahead and purchase stuff with the debit card, which would mitigate the fact that I would need to transfer the money to my bank account. Right. But I cannot have that, right? Payoneer, for Payoneer, I have um, a virtual debit card. So I do have a, a, for Payoneer, they did give me a virtual debit card, which I could use, for example, in the Uber or, you know, Uber Eats or pay things on the internet with it. But I cannot go to the grocery here because I do not have a physical card. So again, I would have to transfer the money to my bank account. Right. But as soon as you go to Zoom, for example, the first thing is you look at your country, oh, Wow, the Dominican Republic is there. It gives you the uh, the way to calculate how much you're going to be receiving in the target currency, which is good because that way I can let you know. Okay, hold on, the 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 exchange rate is too is too far away from what we have in here. So I would let you know if it is too far, you know, too low or whatever. 
But when you're hitting fees, it actually tells you that they have three types of services. They have home delivery, which is amazing. Like they can no, send it to insane. your house. Yeah, yeah, that's that's amazing. Like what? You can have cash pickup. I would go to one of those. I, I don't even know where I could go ahead and pick that up. You know, I've never heard of that. So I would have to figure out if there is a way for me to just go ahead and pick it up. And for bank deposits, which means that it would go to my bank account. Now, for all the others, the the fees, if it depends what balance you use. So if you have PayPal, from your PayPal balance, if you transfer the money to me, it would be a $4.99 fee and so well, on. To, to clarify, though, it's it's the person paying that's paying the fee, not yes. the person receiving, which is no. so, so, it's not a big deal. It's just a surprise. Right. So basically, the one who sends the money pays the fee. And I would assume the reason why they do that is because they understand that the people in the Dominican Republic would have less resources than the people who are sending the money, probably. And also, um, because your currency is worth more than mine, technically speaking. So I don't know how to explain it, but the one paying the fee is the one that is losing the most, basically. If, if it was from... Um, the, the person receiving the money perspective. So for me, losing $5 is worse than for you losing $5 as well. Oh, I understand. All right. So, so, so I basically. Have, I actually looked it up for that other video we were talking about. And mm -hmm. it, your cost of living is half what it is here in the States, in the Dominican Republic. That, that's the uh, funny it, thing. It, it, it is, it is really not. It's funny. It differs. Like the housing was greatly cheaper. Food, you know, not as nearly as much, but it, it differed by topics. But on average, I, that's what I, I said. would, I would, I would actually disagree with that especially okay. now so but but uh, that's another topic for another time but in general and actually that's one of the for people like me who are kind of like aware of these surroundings i find it extremely frustrating knowing that just trying to live a normal life in here requires me to earn in a different currency i cannot i cannot work in dominican republic for real yeah. That's another thing. Don't worry. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So in general, um, <laughs> don't worry. But in general, here, what we can see is that if you're making a bank deposit, which is, it was really surprising to me that you could deposit directly to my bank account. Like yeah. if you send it from your bank account, it is a 299 fee, which is the yeah. lowest fee that I could see here. It is, it is amazingly low. Right. Uh, and when you compare that to when I was receiving the money via PayPal, that's thirty dollars. So right. I was I was actually paying ten times ten times more exactly. yeah. to just receive the money, <laughs> while this service is now available, which is kind of like the reason why we're talking about. We're not sponsored by these people. <laughs> like <laughs> we sound like a, like a very big ad for them. But well, it just gets back to we, you know, between us and even talking to Jean yeah. Lalonde from. You know, we, and Jackie too. We'll talk about paying people, and it's it's a troubling thing when you're working internationally. And how do you collect your money? And how do you pay people? And it was just really cool finding that. Now, the thing was, just by the way, when I went to set it up for you, I had to have your bank account information. Information, yes. So, so it's a little yes. more involving. It wasn't just send it to an email address, right? So now look at this. Before. Now, so so you can see how it changes, how everything switches. I'm actually sending, like, let's send some $200 to Germany, right? So now it tells me what the fees might be. Now, you only have bank deposit. Now, for for those people, it would be a little bit higher if, you know, $5 if you're sending to a German bank. But what I noticed is that depends on the amount. Well, I was so, sure. Yeah, yeah so was if it is a $2,000, I noticed that there was no fee. Right. That was that is interesting. Does that happen in Dominican Republic? So, oh, sorry. Let me double check on that. If there is like a a right. um a minimum value that we got to hit, right? Uh, like for example, yeah. let me see what happens here. I I was not affected, but this is what happens. Like it doesn't go. You see. So, and this is what I mentioned. Oh, but previously. the home delivery. Don't look at the home delivery because that's going to have. A oh, sorry. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, there we go. we go. All right. So yep. there is kind of like a, a fee waving thing. Oh, but look, one thousand. It goes. Yeah. Okay. It it, it is free. So five hundred. I'm curious. Five hundred. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's see what the limit yeah. is. That's right. an interesting one. Yeah. Five hundred is okay as well. Ooh, that's that's wow. Good. That's interesting. Yeah. 
I bet but it's if, under. I bet five hundred is probably. Yeah, yeah, probably because at two hundred goes down like four fifty maybe. Let me see. Look, four fifty is oh, down. Okay. Whoa! Look at that. Three hundred is good too. That is interesting. Supposedly, now two fifty seems to be the limit. So two fifty. Where, let me double check. Two sixty. Yeah, but as soon as you hit the three hundred dollar mark, mark, like it says that there is no fee. Oh, but that is interesting. And, and again, again, it is kind of like surprising to me how many how many little details they right. have on this kind of right. service. It is a service that, again, as soon as I saw my banks in here, like I saw my bank, and I was like, really? That is interesting because. And it was a much bigger list than what you see here. When you go to fill it out, it had, you know, a couple like of all the banks. But those are really, if you are thinking about any banks, like those three, like the the Ban Reservas, BHD, and Popular, those three banks are the banks in this country. Like all the others, like they they're little thingies. Now here on the top, you can see that you could also reload a phone, like for people. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, let me let me. See, I was trying to understand how that would work. Yes, let me let me actually explain what is up in here. And and again, this is in the context of Latin American countries. A lot of people from Dominican Republic go to United States for a better life, right? So if they go, they they go there, they try to get a job, and then they send money back to their families back here. Um, to stay in contact, what they did is like I send you money so that you. Uh, purchase like for a prepaid phone, you purchase minutes so we can be in contact, Still, we can communicate, yeah, sure. right? So again, it's because the person who is in the United States, usually the money is a little sure. bit, it, it works a little bit better for them than the people in here. The ones making the money, right? Right. So they, the fact that they already thought about that and they said like, no, you can actually directly reload a phone that's amazing to me. Like they, they really studied the, 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 the marketing here. I'm just trying to understand how that part would work of like, do you select your phone company or the phone number? Like how to, the how phone number, it? no, the phone number. Okay. So I can do that. Number. I can do that too. Like for example, from my phone, I could enter into a service that they have. I set up a phone number from a friend or my girlfriend, whatever. And I can say the balance that I want to put, I hit OK, and they received that balance on their phone. Now they have minutes available to call. That's how. Uh, okay. So, so, so that, that is those are the type of services that they do not exist in the United States because you don't right. need that. But in these type of countries, like we do need to help each other a lot because the government is not going to help you. That's the mindset in here. So there's a lot of services no, that no. are around that. Like I can send you money. You can lend me minutes. You know those kind of things. The fact that PayPal actually studied the market and actually give us those options is amazing to me. Like, what is an American company that is thinking about those kind of things to that detail? Uh, that's that interesting. last one there, the paying bills, that's interesting. Yes. And again, look at that. The paying bills is only for Central American and, you know, Latin American countries. It is something that only goes here. And that means that electric bill, the water, you know, the, the, those three here are electricity bills. This is phone. Well, uh, let me ask you this. I'm curious because I know we've spoken. If you guys didn't watch the other video where Azaz and I talk about what life is like in the Dominican Republic compared to the United States, it's, it's an hour long, but it was really fascinating. But I know from right. that conversation also, what I was just thinking about is let's say, well, well, let's say I'm employing someone in the Dominican Republic. How crazy mm -hmm. is that, right? But you, you know from talking to you, not everyone there is has the same mindset is in the same place, right? And that's kind of what led the other conversation. What I was thinking is, hey, what if you were flakier, <laughs> right? What I, as an employer, I could say, hey, you know what? I'm I'm unhappy. I don't feel comfortable just sending you cash or money and that you're going to use exactly. it on the electric bill. But, hey, you know what? I can pay, I pay your electric you. Bill. So, so yeah. I can, like, like, you can even negotiate how much you're going to pay. Like, instead of right. paying you $300, I would pay you $150 and I cover your bills, for example. Right. And I you just so, give me the number and I would pay the bills. It gives you a little control. You. So, I think it, that's it another you, alternative. Yeah. Uh, again, there's a lot of little details. And I have seen that a lot. Like, people, 
from um, United States that send the money back to their families here, if, especially if they don't trust it. Like right. they say, like, no, I'm going right. to pay you the phone yeah. bill and the electricity right. bill. Right. Now, here's the money for the food. Yeah. But that's the only money that I'm going to send you, you know, because at Christmas time, uh, a person mm -hmm. here, we, uh, we were trying to be, I forget what she called it, but like little angels, we were, we were trying to help people, but mm -hmm. people almost always just said they wanted cash. Right. And we're like, we're not, we're not giving you cash. No, we can't. Exactly. Can you with buy some food for your fam, whatever. Like we were doing stuff like that. And anyway, it's, 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 yeah, a very common thing. Cares. No matter where you are, I think, yeah, you know, you the, don't want people just wandering what you're exactly. doing. Exactly. So in this kind of sense, like for now, I have seen like this service has been amazing. I have been surprised yep. with the service. It, it fits what is designed for. And the, 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 the idea is sending money to another country yep. with as low fees as possible. If I go to, for example, this guy, I, I, I was, it was really funny because <laughs> a trial wise, right? So this, this one, they go ahead and say like, you know, spend abroad without the hidden fees. And if you go like, we charge as little as possible, no subscription. And I'm like, okay, fine. And oh. at the bottom of the page, I try to look for fees. If you go to, yeah. So, so if you go to any of the other companies, if you go to the bottom of it, you have this one page here that says fees, right? And you just go down and decide what country you're in. And they would actually tell you what the fees would be. Simple as that, right? You go to Payoneer, you go down, and of course, you find a page that says fees. You go there, and they would tell you, look, 3% if it is directly for your clients. It's free if it is a Payoneer service. So again, you see the fees right here. This one, I do not have a fee page. And the funny thing is that they actually advertise very like like a lot they say like we are transparent with our fees like and i'm like yeah we're at the you say <laughs> like, you are right yeah 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 so 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 they say like total after fees okay what are the fees let's keep searching no so uh, no hidden fees yeah okay but what are the fees right well you know their their point is when when they you see that you know as you go through the process because and i understand at least this part which you said earlier too if it was everyone inside the us i'm sending money there probably aren't any fees so there aren't but there i think what they're trying to say is not that there aren't fees but we make sure we tell you about them while you're in that process <laughs> fine okay and that's the thing while you're in that process and and when we were right. just looking at it what happened is like yeah, they they compare themselves to other services like Zoom, right. for example, and they say like we're cheaper. What I see here is about the conversion because they're sending. If you send one thousand pounds, it right. would convert to one thousand one hundred eighty-two euros, and then you would say like, okay, that's the exchange rate. Now this is gonna fall into your account, your Wise account, which is kind of like the PayPal account. You have kind of like a place that you have money, but that's not your bank account. As soon as you try to transfer that money out to your account, then things get a little bit tricky, especially if you're in a third world country. There you start getting like a 2.99 fee for a Swift transfer, a $7.99 if it is to a bank account, and they start adding up. And in the end, you're going to pay almost the same as if you did it with PayPal or for Besides Bayonier, the, you know? how long it takes for the money to actually show up. Right? Again, also. yeah, you have to wait, you have to wait for a few days for getting it and so on. So for now, I think this service was interesting. We, we wanted to share it. So for yeah. any, if anybody just, else needs to send some money out, just take a look at it. Just see how it works. But you, if you're sending to a bank account, you would need the bank account details of the right. person. And it asks you the account number, the person's name, and uh, the your bank home. name, like the, well, uh, the home address. address. Yeah, right. the home address, right, yeah. The address that is uh, um, on the bank account, of course. Right. So, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. The exact name of the person. Just you know, you're you going to have to know these details. What we did was just because, obviously, we work on Zoom a lot. 
as I just joined Zoom, and I think I even gave you control of my computer, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we just, we, I just, I just typed it out. <laughs> I had to have it, you know, and you know the information, right? It's right, just, exactly. But, but um, in the general, thing, yeah, if, yeah, if you good. have a PayPal account, you don't have to create right. a Zoom account. Really good you point. just right. click right. on login and you log right. in with your PayPal account. Right. So if you're already using PayPal, no. Um, right. and you are sending into one of those countries that, um, they might have a lot of issues with the transfers. You might want to look into Zoom. If it is in another, in a country that, you know, in the United States or, you know, an, an European country, sending directly through PayPal might be the best idea. You will not have any issues with it, but there are certain situations in which you might want to look at this type of services. Uh, in our case, it has worked out better. Yeah. I was g- the other one I was going to say is, what we did, which I'm sure this is common sense, right? Don't send your entire, <laughs> you know, huge amount. Don't send a thousand dollars on your first one. Send fifty yeah. bucks, right? right. Test it out, make sure it all works, because that's what we did. And now we're like, hey, you know what? I'll pay you the whole, you know, time period. Yeah, it works. Right. So right. to summarize, this is what's like. All right, Zoom from PayPal. One is it's from PayPal. It's an established company that has a lot of trust. Two was. Low, very low prices paid by the person paying, not the person getting the money, but they're still very low. And three, it's not instantaneous, but light years ahead of oh, time all the other services. Yeah. Especially when you're sending to a bank account. I, I think that's where the key difference is. Right. If it is sending right. into a bank account, usually we'll have to wait a few business days just to yeah. wait for the transaction. In this case, it was, it is amazing. And they actually claim on their website that they have your money back guarantee. Um, so we guarantee that your money will be received to the account you designate or will refund your transaction in full. Now, it's not like which actually should. does bring up a good point, which I don't think there's any control over. Let's say I pay you um, mm-hmm. and, and you don't, let's say I was paying you ahead of time and you don't suffice. I can't ask for my money back, right? It went to the right account. Uh-huh. Right with PayPal, if I used in PayPal a different way, where I said we're not friend or um, family, where it's a business, uh-huh. I can contest things and try to get some of my money back. Right, uh-huh. this one, once I've paid you and it it was the right account, that's basically all they're saying. Then I, I would assume to- I would assume that that's the case. So so long because the, the the idea here is if it is on the account you designate, so right? It is like if the account you designated yeah. is wrong. Yeah. Yeah, there might be something, yeah. So there, there's Which is also why is. you send a few bucks at the beginning to verify. Because exactly. like when I use Zelle, and I think Cash App is the same way. Once it's there, mm-hmm. it's gone. You know, like you can't contest it. It's just gone. Right. That is something that you have to keep in mind. They do claim it, but those are the type of things that you actually have to read about. Make yeah. sure that you're making like a, an informed decision about those kind right. of things. Well, and, you know, with you and I, we're, one is I'm paying you for work you've already done. So I'm not, I'm not worried, but that was also why I wanted to make sure when I actually did that transfer, you got the money. I didn't want to spend too much. I didn't want to put too much money at risk because if you, if it went somewhere out for whatever reason. Right, yeah, right. that's the point. Like if you just you one, one, digit off. Can, you're one digit off, you, you might, yeah, you might be surprised. And but, as you don't know, happy. like, for example, is you don't know the, the, the banks in here, you might have picked the wrong bank. You know, those right, kind of right, things, right? right? So there's a lot of little details that come into play. But again, I just say, like, take a look at it. If you are in need of that service, I, I would definitely recommend it. I, on my end, I have been really surprised about the things that it yeah, actually does. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for making the video. Man, this is awesome. You're welcome.